All right, everyone, here is your Wednesday workout for 29. <clears throat> Warm-up, it'll be three rounds. Okay, I'll go over those exercises real quick. But look at your workout, the main workout up on top, round one, A, one, B, one. That means all of your A, your dumbbell or kettlebell complex, whatever you got. Uh, the sequence for each side, <clears throat> number one, the one-legged squats. To each side, all of B, the slam ball complex, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then number one, again, that's round one. Round two, same thing, but we go A, two, and B, two, and so on and so forth, right? So this is what all these exercises look like. Your warm-up. Then do your plank swings. Again, I like to keep both hands on the ground. Rock the hips up and back. We got uh, eight of those or four each side. You can certainly do the one arm, right? And do that or both hands for eight. All right, step ups or jumping jacks. If you're not working with steps, then you can just do regular jumping jacks. But we've got regular step ups. Okay, get your 16 of those. Side lunge to instep. Okay, you want to get that nice side lunge. All right, and then you turn, put that opposite hand on the ground for your instep stretch. Reach under and twist up. Okay, so we've got two of those on each side for four total. Your inchworm. <clears throat> Slowly walk the hands out. You get a push up. Go a little further with your hands, with the back staying straight. Push those hands back all the way. Push those toes. Get that hamstring stretch. Four of those. Squat to stand. Get nice and low. Take your time and grab those toes. Then you raise your hips. Again, another stretch to the hamstrings. Back down. Reach with each arm. Both hands over the head as you stand. Take your time. With that one, I think it's very important. Grab your weight, and we've got swings, 16 of those. Okay, now your workout. Okay, we're gonna go through A1, B1. So A is your complex, dumbbell or kettlebell is in between the legs. Walk yourself out, push up, walk yourself back. Gonna clean that weight up on the shoulder. The squat, press, keep that weight overhead if you can. Overhead lunge. If you have to, put it by your side and lunge that way. Put it back down. Repeat that whole process. We do four on one side, four on the other. Then we go to number one, our single legged squats. If you don't have steps, you can grab yourself a chair. Obviously, that's a little higher, makes it a little easier. But we go down, especially when there's a cushion on it. We go back up and down and up. So 20 each side. Again, so find a height that works for you. And then you're going to go back to B, which is going to be your uh, weighted complex slam ball. Ideally, if you have it, whatever works uh, for you will be fine. Knee high press, right? Knees come up, press up. You've got 20 of those. So you're lying toe touch. All right, get a little closer. You're going to have the weight. You're going to come up and touch your toe. Now, touch your toe. All right, so you get 20 of those. You want to do both legs and both arms with the weight. That's fine too. 20 is your total. So you're seated. Slams, if you have a slam ball, you're going to sit there and slam it. If you don't slam, very similar. Quarter moves, okay? Those are 20 each side. Your plank front roll, again with the slam ball, you'll be rolling it. I have a weight here, so I'm just going to kind of pick it up, drag it across, right? Back. And fourth, 10 of those, kneeling slasher. All right, one knee down, one foot is up. Then we got 10 of those each side, outside swings. So now I'm gonna take our weight, swing it outside the knee, and then up, and we got 20 of those. So that's A1, B, go back to one, single legged squats, that is round one. Now, everything else is going to stay the same. The A and the B, you're always going to do each round of. But the uh, other exercise is going to be a different number. So round two is a calf raise. Grab your weight if you can. Some kind of elevation. And do your calf raises. All right? If you've got a ceiling, you can kind of keep your balance on. That's fine. 20 on each side. Round three is a rear elevated split squat. Okay, 20 is a lot. You need to put the weight down. That is fine. 20 on each side. Grab toe touch we're going to be on all fours all right we're going to reach up touch our toe 
with our opposite hand. If it's too much to pick up the feet, just do a crab reach. All right, again, 20 of those. One, two, three, four rounds. And if you're moving kind of fast, you'll get your extra credit, but you're gonna do half of A. So that just means instead of four each side, you do two each side. Then you do 10 burpees. Then you go to B, again, half, so you call your numbers in half, instead of 20 each side, 10 each side. And then you finish with 10 burpees, all right? And then you're gonna to wanna to do that extra credit because it's gonna feel good. That cardio blast at the end of a nice, fun, complex Wednesday. Enjoy.